my client is uh, happy with the sentence. That's what he wanted, and uh, that's what he got. As a defense lawyer, I'm not uh, as excited as he is, but uh, he uh, he wanted to go to the penitentiary, and that's where he's going to be. Well, we had a judicial pretrial today. In essence, that's uh, in chambers, conducted in chambers with uh, the judge and uh, the crown attorney. Uh, we had discussions, and uh, we felt like we got what my client wanted. Um, I went downstairs, I spoke to my client, and uh, he was still on uh, board, insisting on that's what he wanted. And uh, we were ready to plead today. There was no reason to put it any further at this point. Well, as you heard, Exhibit 4, I believe, was uh, 65,000 uh, people that have petitioned uh, for my client to get the maximum sentence, which is five years in this case. Uh, and uh, Justice Rollins uh, addressed the court uh, properly. She indicated that uh, this is the maximum somebody can get. Um, so meaning that if somebody does it once, twice, three times, that's the maximum. Uh, I believe that uh, she may have alleviated any uh, concerns that the, that the public may have had in the, in the court uh, that day, today. Um, uh, but uh, definitely there was no cry, and uh, it was uh, online, it was uh, on every single social media commenting, and uh, we experienced it today in the courtroom. Um, he's doing he's doing okay. Uh, we have to consider the fact that, uh, yes, it's a person who now is convicted of this crime, um, but it's a person who's been in jail in solitary for the past uh, 45 days, I believe. Um, so, yes, uh, there are uh, rights for everybody, um, but in essence, it's somebody who's there, not because he, that person has done something wrong in jail and as thus they're punishing him, putting him in solitary, but it's for his own p personal safety. Um, so uh, I, I guess now he'll be feeling better because uh, he'll be eventually transported to uh, federal prison um, whereby he'll be able to take part in different programs that they have which the ju Justice Rollins indicated some of them are for uh, to re rehabilitate them. And that's the essence of uh, the criminal code is yes, we got to punish, but in the end these are people who need to uh, be reintegrated back in society. And uh, Michael Hill has been uh, reintegrated in society once before and uh, hopefully he will uh, take part in the program uh, which he would not have access to in uh, provincial uh, provincial jails. Um, so I'm, I'm sure he'll take uh, part in these programs and uh, he will be inspired to become a productive member of society once again.